Hey, what's up guys? It's Covert Code here, and welcome back to episode 21 of our Zero to Hero series. In the last video, I showed you guys how to use bindable events, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about tween service. So, let's discuss what tween service does, okay? Let's say you have a part in your game. Let's make this uh, 2x2x2, two by two by two, okay, size-wise, and, and make this blue, just like that. Copy, paste that, make that red, uh, move it to the side a bit. And I'm just going to copy this red part, okay? I'm going to make this black, and I'm going to name this point A, and I'm going to name this point B. So this is just a simple use case of tween service. So if I want to go from A, so imagine my part is currently at point A, okay? Just like this. If I want to smoothly go from part A to part B, just like this, I would have to use tween service. Let me just actually make this smoother for you guys. So if I did this, okay, this is what tween service would do. It would smoothly move my part from part A to part B, okay? And before you guys get confused, let me just create a script inside of service here service, call this tweening, okay? And let me show you how tweening actually works. So the first thing we have to do is define Queen service, okay? So basically, a uh, game dot queen service just like this. And that's just the service which facilitates the actual tweening, okay? And essentially, all tweening is is getting from point A to point B. And what I mean by that is not just getting from point A to point B position wise, okay? If you want to resize something like this smoothly, okay? You could also do that with tween service. You can also change the colors smoothly. You can do so many things with tween service. So the concept of tweening essentially is getting from point A, metaphorically, okay, to point B smoothly. Not actually like, like this, okay? That's just one use case, okay? So let me just show you before I actually confuse you more. So let's just define uh, workspace of part and a is equal to workspace A and local B equals workspace B, just like that. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is position this part to A. Okay, so part dot position is equal to A dot position. So if I run this, this is going to get moved to the blue part. Okay, just like this. If I move this, you guys can actually see that these two were sharing the same position. Okay, so essentially this was teleported. To the start point now let me just write out the tween and then i'll explain so local tween equals game dot tween service actually we just actually define this why am i doing that create okay that's the, the function that we're going to be using with tween service it's to create a new tween okay and it's going to be created on the part okay i'll explain this better just give me a second this is just going to be info Okay, just like that. And this is just going to be property table. Okay, so these are all variables. Okay, these two, which I haven't defined yet. So let me do that. So local info and local property table. Okay, empty variables so far. So essentially, we just declared a variable called tween. Okay, and we're asking the tween service to create a new tween for us. Okay, and we're telling it to create that new tween and we're going to be tweening something about this part, okay? So if you want to tween part uh, A, for example, then you would do A, okay? But in our case, I want to modify the actual part, okay? Not part A or part B, but this part, okay? Now, with the other two things, I'm just going to be breaking them down step by step, okay? So, let's start with the property table, okay? And as the name implies, it's an actual property table. So you need a table, okay? So that's why the curly brackets are there. And it's not just any ordinary table, okay? It's a dictionary. So let me just break this down. So if you want to modify the position property of the part, okay? The index you would type in is position, just like this, okay? So essentially you're telling it that you want to modify the position property. And then you actually have to tell it what you want that position to be at the end, okay? So let me just show you guys something. So vector three dot new something, okay? Because the position is a vector three, but in our case, we can just do b dot position, okay? Just like this. So essentially, all I'm telling it is 
that I want the position whenever this tween finishes, okay, to be B's position. So essentially what the property table is, is a list of properties that you want to modify and, you know, you have to give them values. So for example, if I also want to modify the transparency property, all I would do is transparency, okay? So I'm telling it I want to modify the transparency property and I just have to give it a value. So if I want it to be 0.5 by the time the tween finishes, I would just put this at 0.5. And when the tween ends, it's just going to be at 0.5. And you can literally add so many properties, but I'm just going to do two for now. And this is the easy part. This is the sort of tricky part, which most people struggle with, okay? And that's the information variable. Now, this takes a very specific type of data type. And that is tween info. So you know how position is vector three and you know, there's other types like C frame and stuff like that. This is essentially the same, but it's tween info dot new. Okay. Instead of vector three dot new or C frame dot new, it's tween info dot new. That makes sense. You're giving it information about the tween. You just have to enter a few things. Okay. So the first thing is how long you want that tween to last. So I want this to be two seconds. So I would just write two. The next thing is the easing style. So essentially, um, it's the shape of the like, path the tween takes. It's pretty hard to explain. So let me just give you an example. One of the styles is bounce. So imagine we're at the part which is called A, okay? And let's say we, we uh, run the tween, okay? So let me just click on this and move it with my plugin. And let's say I move this to part B, just like we're trying to do. Now, one of the easing styles is linear, okay? So it would just do this. It would start from A, go to B, and that's it. However, okay, there's also bounce. So let's say we're at A, okay? And this is what bounce would do. So it would just begin, okay? It would begin and it would bounce a bit and then it would settle at the position. So it's essentially styling how the actual property, you know, takes shape, essentially. So if you find this strange, there's a really good wiki page on easing styles. I'll leave the link in the description below. But that's pretty much what easing styles are. So let's say uh, I want to use the bounce easing style, okay? What I would have to do is enum, just like that, dot, okay, easing style. So I want to access the easing styles, okay? So this is a very strict type of data. Um, and all I would do is bounce, just like this. And if you just say dot, just like this, it will give you a full list of, um, easing styles okay but i'm just going to use bounce just like that the next thing is the easing direction now i'll just bring something up on the screen now the wiki page link will also be in the description below uh, it has a little animation which you guys can actually see it's really good however there's only three types so this is much easier to learn in my opinion than easing styles okay so there's enum so easing direction there's in out and in out you can just you know experiment around there's only three so you can say in out or in out just like this okay i'm just going to go with out in this case and that's pretty much all we need okay however here's the thing if i click play right now nothing's gonna happen so if i click run nothing's gonna happen okay the part actually gets teleported to you know a position okay however it doesn't start moving and that's because okay we actually have to play the tween we have to ask it to start so this is how you would do it okay so tween play just like this so you are telling the tween to start okay so you're telling it to start playing let's just wait uh four seconds before that actually happens okay and if we click run now okay it's actually going to wait four seconds and it's going to tween the part Okay, which is here to here, as you guys can see. And it bounced a bit. Just like I said, that's because we use the bounce easing style, okay? Let's just say I want this to take slightly longer. All I have to do is modify this to and change it to a 5, for example, okay? And if I click play again, it's actually just going to take slightly longer. You know, 3 seconds longer than usual. And as you guys can see, it's slowly moving. And midway, okay, you can actually see... The, the transparency starting to change, okay? 
That's because we also included the transparency property to be 0.5. Now, let's say you want to remove the part um, for some reason after the tween plays. So what you have to do is uh, the most reliable way is not just waiting five seconds and then, you know, part destroy. OK, this usually works. However, it's not the best way. What I would suggest doing is tween, okay, dot completed wait, okay? Essentially, you're waiting for the tween to complete, okay? So this is an event, and you're waiting until that event happens. And just as a small bonus, let me just replace transparency with color just to show you guys how that would look. So all you do is, let's say I want to make this red, so color tree from RGB 25500, okay? And I'm just asking it, to you know become red so if i click run um it's actually going to change the red as it gets closer just like that as you guys can see okay that's pretty much it guys on tweens they are very very useful um handy in many scenarios i've already done tutorials before where i showed you guys uh, you know specific use cases for tweens such as that door tutorial i made it uses tweens to make it open smoothly and close so yeah um if you guys like this video i would really appreciate leaving a like and if you like my content please do consider subscribing i have a ton of videos just like this one and if you have any suggestions about what videos i should make in the future just leave a comment in the comment section down below suggesting that video idea and i'll see you guys next time